file display commands this lesson covers about all the commands that are used to display the content of a file you could view the file by doing ls minus ltr but and you could how can you view inside of the file the first command that we'll cover is the cat which views the entire content of a file regardless whether it's one page or two page um, more command or less command both are the same um, but more views the content of a file one page at a time whereas less command views the content of a, of a page uh, in reverse order but it also allows you to view one line at a time then you have head if you want to know a few lines at the top of a, of a file. Let's say if a file has a million lines and you just want to view the first 10 lines, you could use head command followed by the number of lines that you want to view. The same way the tail works. Instead of at the top of the uh, file, it actually gets you the lines at the bottom of the file. Again, if a file is woman, has a million lines and you put tail minus 10, it will give you the last uh, 10 lines of a file. Let's look at our, um, at our Linux machine and see how we could use these commands. Okay, so let's clear this page out. Okay, the first thing I want you to do is copy the file called var log messages and copy it in your home directory. You could do slash home, your home directory, which would work. Or you could also do copy the name or the location of the entire file and follow by space and dot. Dot means at this location where I am. You hit enter. And now you do ls minus ltr. You hit enter. And you'll see at the bottom right here, it shows that you have this file which is 129338 bytes long by the way you could view you, you could copy this file only if you are root so when you do who am i you are root and you remember how you will become root let's say if you exit out of it and you do who am i you are yourself and now you're going to copy war log messages to your current location it's not going to allow you so you have to be root so to become root su space dash put in the password and now you are in root so go to your home directory the user's home directory which is your home directory and then you will see here this has this messages file that you copied from var log and the reason you were not able to copy it because you see here only root which is the user the owner of the file who is root is allowed to read and write to this file the rest of people which is group has no right for anything and so on the others have no right on read write to do anything let's go back to our commands that we would cover if I wanted to view the contents of this file called messages the command to use is cat messages simple as that you hit enter see it has all those contents messages basically this messages file has all your logging information of your system anything that is going on with your system any um, services that are running any error messages warning messages coming in the health of your computer everything is stored in this file we copied this file in our in our home directory just to cover the file display command lesson. So do a clear and then do cat and messages again. And you'll see it has a bunch of lines, text lines in it. And we could view through cat, but then we have to scroll up. So another way that so we don't have to scroll up, how do you do? You do more messages. You hit enter and there you'll see you will get one page at a time of that file messages here you'll see it says one percent at the bottom you hit space bar to keep going down keep going down you're going one page at a time and while you're going it also telling you the percentage of the file you have read you keep going down 
and if you wanted to get your prompt back what do you do you simply type Q so that's how you use the more command now let's use the less command less command space messages hit enter it does the same thing you hit the space bar hit the space bar one page at a time also it will give you one line at a time to view it when you hit J in your keyboard it will come one line at a time or you hit K which is is a go back up you could also do up arrow key or down arrow key whichever that you prefer J or K up arrow key or down arrow key whichever you prefer so that's what less allows you to do next one we have head if you do more and messages you will see the first page of your file messages what if you want to see only the first two lines you don't care what's inside the file after the first two line then what do you do you do head minus two space the name of the file messages and you will see the first two line of the file then you'll do tail minus two messages this will give you the last two lines of the file which is uh, the last two is March 7th 310 you could do cat again to messages and it will bring you down to the last page and you could verify yes these were the last ones so to wrap up we covered cat command which lists the contents of your file regardless how many pages it has it's just displays everything in one shot more gives you one page at a time less gives you one page at a time in a reverse order but also view lets you view one line at a time head gives you the first lines d depending on what you define and tail gives you the last lines depending what you have defined um, now exit out of um, root account find out which directory you are in and do ls minus ltr and you will see uh, there is a file called jerry in there um, let's do cat and jerry and you will see two lines in jerry file the first line says jerry seinfeld is the main character and the second line shows us the date and time of the file uh, not the file but an output or a text message whatever that is if I just wanted to view the first line of the file I don't care the second line what I would do is head minus one Jerry and it will give me the first file first line of the file what if I wanted to view the last line I don't care the first one that says Jerry sign for the main character I just wanted to know this line I will do tail minus one Jerry and it will give me the last line. So this is how head and tail work.